as many of you know, one of the primary problems we were running into when we went out to work with gated horses of all styles and types was that uh, the saddles weren't fitting. And uh, we have uh, customers who have literally been through a dozen or more saddles trying to find one that fits their gated horse. As we were working with the horses, we started uh, analyzing this and figuring out why this was true, why saddle fit was so imperative for the horse, not just their comfort, but their gait. What we discovered is that many horses, like Kelby here, have what I call a rafter or A-shaped framed spine. Their back is actually shaped like this. Most Western saddles are made for the barrel-shaped horse, the round-shaped horse. When you put a round-shaped tree on a rafter-shaped horse, what happens is that the, the tree bars, which are these two panels here, and this is actually what you're riding when you ride in your saddle, the tree bars sit like like this, and the weight is only distributed on the outside edge of the bars. There's no weight being distributed on the inside edge of the bars, but only on the outside. This creates pressure points. Aside from that, our bareback riding demonstration in a few minutes is going to reveal that the gated horse, all horses, but particularly the gated horse, needs to have an unusual degree of flexibility and freedom through the croup, back, shoulders, neck and pole. Uh, they, they take independent steps. Every leg moves independently of every other leg, and that requires a tremendous amount of flexibility. We say that such horses are quadridextrous. So what we've done is we've gone to the Steel Saddle Tree Company, and they've helped us because we have, we have some design ideas of our own besides uh, getting the, the shape of the tree proper, the angles of the bars proper. Um, we designed a tree that has flexibility built right into it. Not too much, but just enough that when the horse moves, the tree will move with him, uh, flex with him, so that he's not restricted with essentially a wooden split in the middle of his back, which is what you have when you put a wooden tree saddle uh, on the back of your horse. We designed it so that it sits forward over the wither and shoulder. You'll see how much freedom there is right here. We don't want any restriction here in the shoulder area. We want this horse, gated horses have more lift and or reach in their front end, which means that their scapula rotates back significantly more than a non-gated horses with every stride. Well, we wanted this to be totally non-restrictive here, but to sit nice and evenly all across the rest of the back. We also build some super core in, so this actually sits significantly higher than what you see with the bare tree. But this gives you the idea of how we want the tree to fit. We don't want it digging in here. We want nice, even contact all along here, and little or no contact up here so that the shoulder can move freely. Now, there are some wooden tree gated horse saddles on the market, and The trees in those saddles look like this. The trees are designed to sit on the horse like this. The idea being that with a flared front bar, front edge of the bar, the horse is able to rotate its shoulder back and it will get underneath there. Well, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But as you can see, the A shape of the horse's frame is not taken into consideration. Their only real weight bearing area is right here in the center of the bars. So the weight is carried in the one spot. Also, because this sits farther back than our saddle does, the rider's weight is worn right in here. This is the weakest part of the horse's back, just before the loin. You put the weight here, and you have very little weight distribution, and what you're going to have is a horse that learns to go hollow to avoid uh, painful contact with the wooden saddle tree. So, We've come up with a number of solutions, and we wanted you to have an idea why that was so. Now, on occasion, we'll have folks ask why, if it's important to put the saddle farther forward, like we do with our saddle, why can't they just take their regular saddle and set it more forward to put the rider in the position we'd like to see them riding in? Well, I'm going to just show you why. 
This is why. When the weight comes on the saddle, it's going to dig in right here, severely. There's almost no contact through here at all. All of the contact is right here, and there's none up here. The saddle tree is not designed to sit forward, and you can't simply make that kind of adjustment. Um, you have to actually redesign the saddle to, to be made to put the rider in a more forward position.